This next tool I want to present to you is called Socrative. As you can see, when you log on to Socrative.com, you are asked a basic question. That question is, are you a student or are you a teacher? Uh, you can choose any of those and you can use your Google account to connect. So here I've connected with two windows. On this window I am a teacher and on this window I am a student. So I've created a class, I've named it Naval English, you can set that in your settings uh, window. By default Socrative will give you a number for your room, but you can change it to a word that makes sense so that it's easier to remember if you're students. What does Socrative allow you to do? Well basically it allows four types of activity. The first is a quiz, we'll see that in a minute. The second is a quick question. So a quick question is a question that you put to your class either to poll them to know their opinion on something, pretty much like you would with a clicker, or to check that the class understood uh, a particular point that you've just taught, or maybe to check what their preconception of something is before you actually start uh, teaching it. Space Race is a game, we'll watch that in a minute. Exit Ticket is also a type of quiz, but one that you would put to the class at the end of a class uh, to check that they understood uh, what was taught during the class, and if they do, they earn that Exit Ticket and they can leave. So quizzes. Uh, here you have a tab called Manage Quizzes and in here you can create quizzes, you can import quizzes and you can manage your quizzes. So I created a quiz here uh, for, the, uh, for this demonstration. I called it Onboard a Vessel. So let's look at it. It's very simple. You put a title. You, here you get the uh, quiz number if you want to share it. And here you have various types of questions. You can ask basically a true, false question. You can ask a multiple choice question. It can have either one or several correct answers. And you can also ask a short answer type question. You will have to type in a short answer. So basically how do you add a question? You just click on one of them, for example multiple choice here. You type the text for the question you can add a picture if you want. Formatting is to allow for formatting, as it says, so you can add a bold, italics, or you can, you can do superscript, subscript, that kind of thing. Then you write your answers. You can click on the cross here to erase one if there are too many, and you select which one is correct. If you mark none as correct, Socrative will consider this as a poll and simply log the uh, answers of the students onto the report file. Here is to what you call what you click to um, erase a question. Once your quiz is ready, you save it by clicking on Save and Exit here. Very simple. You can import uh, various formats of question in text or in Excel files, for example, which makes the creation easier and faster. Then, how do you? Um, use your quizzes, well you can start a quiz for example like this, you press on a button like this so you choose which quiz you want to start options for uh, student paste or teacher paste with or uh, without the possibility to navigate the order freely so for example we choose that teacher paste uh, and we'll click start at that moment he's asked to give his name and then he has the first question. He answers the question. You can click th this button to show the, um, the correct answer and then if you've prepared a feedback for that question it also appears here. Then you click on next, it loads the second question. That appears also on the screen of the students and so on and so forth. And for Space Race, the game is a bit different. You select a quiz 
you select a number of teams, for example four, you select if you want teams to be auto-assigned or student selected, in that case they would have to say which team they want to be in, uh, and then you choose which pictogram you want to use, we'll use a spaceship for example, um, the feedback, do they want to see the feedback immediately, so let's say they don't want to see the feedback, and then you simply click start. They log on to it, and then they start answering the questions. And you see them making progress live as they answer the questions. If the answer false, it doesn't make any progress. If you go on to your um, reports button here, you can see that you can have access to all the reports. So if you look, you can look at them and have information regarding which uh, student answered what answer to what question, and you can have a um, a clearer picture of what they understood or not. Also, you can download those reports uh, in uh, uh, Excel format. You can have an individual PDF for all the answers of a student. It's pretty comprehensive. You can download that. You can get them by email or get them directly into your Google Drive.